Good morning. So, I'm running a little late to work today. I uh, was supposed to work from home. And my, uh, my laptop decided to die. So, I got to go into work and get another laptop. <coughs> what fun. But, uh, welcome to RV Fishing Chat. And today, we're going to talk about Yak Tribe. Not that I can get that so you can see it, but anyway. Um, it's on my shirt, too. <laughs> so, Yak Tribe. I know uh, some of you probably don't know why we're in Yak Tribe. Um, and I'm guessing as time goes on and more people watch this, they're probably going to want to know what is this Yak Tribe thing. So, I'm going to explain it. Or at least I'm going to try. Yak Tribe as I see it. Um, first, I'll give you a, the, the, the real basics. Is So, we're at a national kayak fishing community. That's what it says on the shirt anyway. And... Um, and our motto or slogan if you will is uh, real people real stories real connections and uh, that's that kind of sums it up but what does that mean real people well, a lot of times in the fishing world there's uh, there's a lot of plastic that goes on and uh, it's more common that now. It's more common in the, uh, I don't want to sound deprecating, or I guess it's, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to bad, bad mouth people, but in the powerboat world, there's a lot of people who are stuck on their boats and they're stuck on their, their stuff that they use to go kayak fishing. And, um, bunch of the rest of us <clears throat> either we choose not to afford that kind of stuff because that's a lot of money sixty thousand dollars for a, a decent powerboat um, but yeah so in the kayaking community we're a whole lot more close-knit in general um, there are some folks in the kayaking community who are actually starting to get some of this um, attitude, but it's not as prevalent. Um, and Yak Tribe is kind of there to make sure that some of that attitude does not continue, at least within our group. And we're going to try our best to, to keep things uh, real. Real people. Real stories. A um, lot of lot of fibs told in the, in the in the kayaking world, but a lot of fibs told in, in the rest of the world too. There's a lot of stories out there. Um, but I think one of the things that we're looking at in, in that real stories kind of idea is that if we're real people, then we all have a real story, and uh, and we're going to talk about that. What is our story? What is what what are, what are we about? What are we doing? Um, each person has their own thing. I mean, uh, for Sarah and I, it's, uh, you know, RVing and fishing and going on an adventure. Um, just a general adventure. We want, And we want to share that with other people. <clears throat> We'd like to help other people figure out how to do that for themselves. That would be, uh, recently we uh, we did, you know, some, some pretty serious help to help Robert Field um, put together kind of a, uh, manual of, or, or list of a bucket list kind of thing of things that he needed to get for his RV that he was getting. So, um, you know, it was it was a big big deal for me to see him getting out into the RVing world and doing what he does because um, he was an inspiration for me to get into fishing, back into fishing, I should say, and get into kayak fishing. 
it was him specifically that really inspired me. I was already thinking about a kayak, and that's why I found him. But um, his trip down the Devil's River, which is, I think, one of the first things he ever recorded, even though it doesn't show it on his site, he had to redo the video. But um, he uh, he went down the Devil's River, and that inspired me. So that, that's the kind of thing, there's a real story there. I have a story of how I got back into fishing and why I got into fishing. Um, life was rough and I was not very happy at the time and I needed something to um, to help me focus on something else. So that's, that's you know, there's a real story there. Um, but I think on the other, the, the, the other statement, real connections, it's been, it's been really eye-opening to me. Uh, I, I've, I'm one of those people that tends to have uh, what us Christians call the Elijah Syndrome. There's nobody left who's like me, you know, that kind of thing. I lived a little bit, a little bit like a hermit. I'm, I'm in my worst state. I'm agoraphobic. Uh, I don't like people on a bad day. I don't like people. I don't want to be around them. I want them to just shut up and go away. So I won't I won't say what I'm actually what I actually think because uh, YouTube would probably uh, demonetize me or block me or something I don't know but I'm bad I'm bad and it was through kayaking and getting out to that community and, and those kind of things that really restored some of my faith in in my fellow man um, I had pretty much gotten to where I I thought all people were idiots. And I didn't believe that there was anybody who could do anything right, um, even on accident. <laughs> I still don't trust drivers. So, notorious intersection there. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I've changed a lot. And a lot of it, I would say there's a big portion of that has come because of Yak Tribe. Um, I have friends in Yak Tribe now that I I know that if I needed something bad enough, I could let them know, and I might even have somebody show up to help me. That's the kind of people that are in Yak Tribe. That's the kind of people that are in Yak Tribe, and we are trying to infuse that that connection those real people, those real stories, we're trying to infuse that into the into the kayaking community at large. Um, and those who are interested in that should should check it out, Yak, yak-tribe.com, go check it out. Uh, maybe I'll put a link, I think it's up there, um, eventually, but uh, I may not be able to get that uploaded. But really, really really check it out yak tribe is awesome we have our forum on on facebook and when you need to go fishing or you want to go fishing with somebody you get on there and say hey i'm going fishing such and such a place and i tell you what we're, we're not real big up north yet and that's sad we really need to get that fixed um and we're working on that we've got a couple people we've got somebody in montana we've got somebody in pennsylvania uh, we need Michigan. We need New York. Uh, there's a... I'm spraying it today. The sun's lighting it up. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of places we are not. And that's, that's sad and we need to fix that because there's a lot of good people in those areas. And um, I just think that uh, Yak Tribe could be a big deal in every single state. We're even looking at Hawaii. We've got uh, some interesting possibilities out there. Uh, there's a good kayaking community out there, kayak fishing community. So, yeah, um, if you haven't checked out Yak Tribe, go check it out, yak-tribe.com. Go look at it, go check it out. It, it is probably, I've been in some clubs in my time, and I'll say that it is the most, I would say it's the realest, if that's a word, the most real of any club that I've ever been in and of any group um, outside of church, going to church and a church family. Um, 
And I tell you what, some of these guys that I've gotten to know are more like brothers to me than some of my church family has been, and that's pretty sad. Because um, the church family should be should be close, and um, I've had really good church families in the past. So, uh, but in more recent times, it's been difficult, and that's. Um, that's where this Yak Tribe has come in, and I've got several good Christian friends on there. A lot of really good people. A lot of really good people. And um, it's it's been it's been a really good experience. And I just can't stress enough: if you're in the kayak fishing community and you you want that kind of thing, a real kind of experience, come join us. Come check us out. There's no sign, no no cost, no nothing. Just Come in, sign up, uh, get your name on the roster, so to speak, and uh, and then uh, support the community because that's what we're here for. So um, go fishing with your fellow kayakers and, and uh, show the uh, rest of the kayaking world that we're different. So that's that. I'm going to cut it off at that point. Um, it's been, uh, been a nice driving. Nice driving, talking about Yak Tribe, one of my uh, favorite things. So check us out. Grab a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt. Man, these things are nice. These are really nice shirts, by the way. Just fantastic. Anyway. Safe travels and tight lines, folks. Bye.